Let's use operators in a Java program. Hello all you techies, welcome to Tech Corner Java Code Cafe. I'm Druti and today we are going to continue with our previous log on operators. Last time uh, we have seen uh, three sets of operators as assignment operator, arithmetic operator and the unary operators. Today we are going to continue with the same log and we are going to see about the uh, relational or conditional operators, the logical operators and the ternary operators. There are many more which will follow in the next log. So let's start. Okay, so let's begin with the relational operators or the conditional operators. As the name suggests, this operator or the set of operators is used to uh, identify the relation between two operands or two values. Say for example, we have taken A as 20 and B as 30 and then we want to find out what the relation between A and B in terms of which one is greater, which one is lesser, which one, I mean smaller, which one is, uh, I mean whether they are equal or not equal. So we have operators for that. So on screen you can see that we have listed some operators with the double equal to sign and not equal to. So the double equal to will check whether the two operands or the values of the two operands are equal or not. That is numeric values. So whether a, a is equal to B or not. And it will always return a Boolean value into true or false. So all your relational operators are going to return you either true or false based on uh, whether the condition comes to be true or false. So on screen you can see we have the uh, equal to, double equal to sign which checks the equality. The not equal to, that is exclamation equal to which checks whether the two numbers are not equal. If they are not equal then it returns true. Then we have the greater than sign, the less than sign, the greater than equal to and the less than equal to. So greater than will check whether the left operand value is greater than the right one. The less than will check whether the left operand value is lesser or smaller than the right one. Likewise, less than equal to and greater than equal to will check whether the uh, left one is greater than equal to or less than equal to the right operand. So these are basic mathematical operations that you might have done uh, when you study uh, mathematics in or statistics in school. Same thing applies here also and these operators are very self-explanatory. Alright, now let's take the uh, next set of operators that is the logical operators. The logical operators uh, are a little different. They work on two Boolean expressions and they will also evaluate to true or false based on what is the result of either or both of the two logical expressions. So for that we have two logical operators, the first one being the double and percent symbol which is called the logical AND and the two bars symbol which is called the logical OR. Now this logical AND it will return true only if both the left and the right expressions, Boolean expressions written true. For example if you are saying is 30 greater than 20 which is true and is 10 less than 20 which is also true then the combined result will be true. If either of them returns false, then and percent will return false. On the contrary, the OR, that is logical OR, will return true if any one of the Boolean expressions is true. So for example, is 30 greater than 20 is true. Uh, and then you write an OR symbol and write is 10 greater than 20, which is false. Even though 10 greater than 20 is false, uh, the overall expression will return true because 30 greater than 20 is true. So it depends on you which uh, logical expression you want to use based on your requirement. So if you want that uh, a certain operation should be done only if both the conditions are true, then you use the logical AND. And if you want that a particular operation should be done if either of the conditions are true, then you can use logical OR. Alright guys, one more thing that you need to know about logical operators is a short circuit behavior. Now these logical operators internally uh, behave very smartly. So, uh, since you know that for n% percent to return true, both the conditions should be true. So, n% percent will evaluate the second condition only if the first condition is true. If the first condition is false, it will automatically return you false and don't, will not bother to go to the second condition and verify. On the contrary, the logical OR, the, the rule of logical OR is either of the two expressions should be true. So, in case the logical OR finds that the first expression is false, then only it will go to evaluate the second expression to see if it is true or not. If the first expression was true, it will not go to evaluate the second expression. So look at the example on the screen. We have taken an example wherein we have taken 20 greater than 30 and 10 less than 20. Now for m% percent, it is important that both the conditions should be true. Now in the, in the first case, 20 greater than 30 is false. 
So now ampersand will not bother to go and check the second condition, even though it is true, 10 less than 20. It will not bother because the first condition is false, so it will automatically return you false. This is a short circuit behavior. It stopped uh, uh, from the first expression only because it was false. Second example you see, that is the same example we have taken with the OR symbol. Now for the OR symbol, it is important to find a true expression. So what it will do is 20 is greater than 30 turns out to be false. So OR will go and check the second one is 10 less than 20. Since it finds 10 less than 20 is true, so OR will return true. If the first one had been true, OR would not have checked the second expression whether it was true or false. So this is short circuit behavior. It's you can say a code optimization technique wherein uh, it saves time and energy of the processor to go and unnecessarily verify something which is not actually required if the condition doesn't meet in the very first expression. So this is a short circuit behavior of the logical operators. Alright, uh, one more operator for today and that is the ternary operator. Now this, at this point of time it's difficult to explain the ternary operator but just I'm going to give you an overview because to understand the ternary operator you should first know the if else construct which is going to come after the operator's uh, session. So anyway, so uh, whenever you have a condition to check and you want to do something based on that condition uh, is true or false, you normally use the if else construct. So if a condition is true, do this, else do that. So uh, the problem with if else construct is it occupies a lot of lines, lines of code. So the same thing can be accomplished uh, by using the ternary operator. What the ternary operator does is it, it evaluates the expression on the left, okay? And then based on its being true or false, it will evaluate one or the first or the second expression on the right. So you can see on screen, I have shown you the symbol question mark colon, that is the ternary operator symbol. And uh, expression one, question mark, expression two, colon, expression three. So first of all, it will evaluate whatever is given in expression one. If that turns out to be true, okay, it will execute expression two. If whatever is there in expression one is false, it will execute expression three. To give you a better understanding, there's an example on screen you can see it is uh, checking whether it's A is greater than B. Okay, so on screen you have seen the value of A is 20 and B is 30. So we are checking whether A is greater than B. If A is greater than B is true, okay, the question mark is like if it is true, then uh, print it is greater, otherwise colon smaller. So in our case, A greater than B is turning out to be false because 20 is not greater than 30. Right? So it will jump to expression 3 and it will print smaller. Or you can say the number is smaller, something like that. You can print whatever you like or you can do any other operation. Instead of printing those two words, you can do any some, any other operation, uh, any other uh, you know, calculation based on your requirement. But this is an overview for ternary operator. What it does is, it will uh, it is a kind of one line replacement or shorthand for if else construct. Uh, it will evaluate the first expression and based on its uh, evaluation, that is if it is true, it executes the second expression. If it is false, it executes the third expression. <sighs> That's all. Alright, so now let's take a look uh, at a small example of using the operators that uh, we just saw. That is the relational operators, the logical operators and the ternary operator. So on screen you can see that we have taken an example uh, with a class called operators. And we are taking three numbers, uh, P, three variables P, Q and R with uh, the values initialized as 20, 30 and 40. Now in each of the assault statements, that is system router print ln, we are writing a statement that's, that shows us what exactly uh, we are expecting to do in this particular line. So here we are evaluating p equal to equal to q, then not equal to, greater than, less than, greater than equal to, and less than equal to. You can see what are the answers for that because obviously p is not equal to q, so it will be true. It is equal to true, will return false. Greater than, less than will return accordingly. Same way for the logical operators, logical and logical or. You can do it in two different lines also. You can store the answer in a boolean variable and then print the boolean variable. That is also possible. But again, to save lines of code, I have written in the single line in the S out statement as well, uh, itself. So you can see I have first written a statement that say logical and returns. Then I'm concatenating the whole expression on the right. That is pre greater uh, than Q and P less than R. So it is going to return false. So the output will be, uh, you can see on the bottom, logical and returns false. Similarly, logical or returns true. 
and then lastly i have taken the tertiary operator that also in one line you can see is p greater than q if yes it will print p is greater than q otherwise it will print p is smaller than q now in our case p is 20 and q is 30 so obviously it is false so it is going to jump over to the last expression that is p is smaller than q which you see over here in the bottom it says ternary operator says p is smaller than q so it's a very simple uh, process it's a very simple um, concept uh, the relational operators the logical operators and the ternary operators these are very frequently used in coding uh, during uh, you know creating creation of java programs so i guess this is very simple for you to understand if you have not understood you can always uh, try this out uh, at home and if you have any issues you can write to me Hey folks, so that's all from me from Tech Corner Java Con Cafe today. Uh, let's do a quick summary for what we have done. So today we have seen the relational operators, the uh, logical operators and the ternary operator. So in relational operators we have seen how they are used to compare the values of two operands and figure out which one is greater, which one is smaller, whether they are equal or not equal. For the logical operators, we have seen that it can evaluate whether uh, you know both the expressions or one of the expressions is true or not, and it will return true or false based on uh, which expression, uh, which operator you are using, whether it is logical and or logical or. Okay, one uh, important thing that we uh, learned about logical operators is the short circuit behavior, wherein the logical and will evaluate the second expression only if the first expression is true. And the logical or will evaluate the second expression only if the first expression is false to save the processor time. And uh, the last one that we have seen is ternary operator, which is a shorthand for the if else construct, wherein if you don't want to go into using the you know multiple lines of code in if else, you can use a one line expression and uh, you know evaluate uh, the left expression and execute any one of the expressions on the right based on whether the left expression is true or false. So this is all from me guys. I hope you understood. We have uh, bitwise operators coming up in the next uh, vlog. Those who have not seen the previous vlog on arithmetic assignment and uh, unary operators, please uh, check the link given in the description box. If you have not understood anything in this vlog, please write to me on itcom.edutr at gmail.com and you can put your comments in the comment section. If you have any specific video requirement, do let us know. We'll make for you ASAP. So that's all from me guys. Take care and keep smiling because smiles are contagious. Adios!